Hola, Tata. You look tired. Why don't you take a break? <clears throat> you and those cheap flowers, they never last long. Joe, you leave my flowers alone. I'm just We've saying. Got, we go through this every year. I'm just saying. <sighs> you can't beat that breeze. Yeah, it's nice. a good husband to you. Joe, what do you mean? Well, are you happy with the way your life turned out with me? Of course, dear. Very happy. Why? Because of my problem. What problem? Oh. You know. Joe, why are you bringing this up again? After all these years? Are you okay, Joe? Honey, did you check your blood sugar today? I'm fine, honey. I've just been thinking a lot about our life together. And it always bothered me that I was never able to give you children. Joe, don't feel bad. It's not your fault. It just wasn't meant to be. You know, I've always said that God has written a screenplay for all of us, and we have to stick to the script. No rewrites allowed. <laughs> I love the way you put things, honey. I have to, because that's the only way you understand sometimes. That's true. So, why are you thinking back on our life so much? I mean, we've got a lot of life left, right? Yes, we do. I just worry sometimes. I hope when you reflect back on your life, your movie turns out to be a good one, not a flop due to my performance. <laughs> How was that one? <laughs> okay. Not as good as mine. <laughs> So, 
How about you? How has my life been with you? Excellent, honey. <laughs> Whatever life brings to our lap, you're prepared. You're my backbone and you always have been. Well, dear, that's very nice to hear. But you know, I'm not as strong as you think. Why do you say that? I've always been strong. And I learned to not let things bother me, but things did bother me. I just took it and hid my frustrations and sorrows from you and the world. Honey. No, no, let me finish, Joe. In all of 40 years that we've been married, I've only cried twice in front of you. Once when my mother died, and the other was when your sister passed away. Didn't you think that was kind of awkward? I guess I did. Did you ever wonder why I wasn't more upset when we found out about your fertility? No, Joe, that's not strength. That's called suppression. I learned to suppress anything that upset me. Why? That's not very healthy, right? You are right, it's not. But I had to do that to survive as a child. Joe, my father had his way with me. What do you mean he had his way with you? I can't believe I'm finally telling you this. Yes, my own flesh and blood did that to me. It started when I was five, and it went on until I was nearly 15 years old. I don't think he touched my sisters, but you never know. He used to say that I was the special one and that he couldn't help himself. How was he able to get away with it? Where was your mother when all this was going on? My mother. <laughs> she was a weak woman with issues of her own. She knew about it, but she didn't stop it. She was afraid of Papa. We all were. How could you have kept this secret from me for all these years? Joe. I blocked the abuse from my mind. It's a survival tool. I didn't want my father's sick ways to affect the rest of my life, but in reality, it did. You know, I once told my friend Sally about it, and she told me I should go and see a therapist, but I never did. Sally? You told Sally and not me? I'm your husband. We're supposed to tell each other everything. I know, Joe, but I couldn't. Don't, don't be mad. I didn't tell you because I wanted to protect our love. You know, I think if I was to crack, the whole dam would burst and we would be in trouble. This is no time for analogies. I'm hurt. That explains why you never went to see your father in the hospital. And why your mother was always so distant with you. It explains more than I want to think about. Yeah. And it also explains why I wasn't too upset when we found out about our having children. 
You know, I guess deep down I really didn't want them. You didn't trust me? Oh, no, Joe, no. It's just that I felt I'd I don't, I, I don't think I really wanted to bring children into this horrible world. Your parents are horrible, not the world. Cynthia, you should have told me. I would have tried to help you work things out. I couldn't, Joe. It's embarrassing and shameful. And I thought you wouldn't love me anymore or look at me differently when you found out. You have nothing to be shameful about. It's their shame, not yours. I love you, no matter what. I'm sorry you had to go through this horrible experience, but we have to look forward. I'm so proud that you had the courage to tell me about this after all these years. And I love you too. <laughs>